Good morning. I am Dr. Tejinda Kataria, Chairman uh, Department of Radiation Oncology, Medanta Cancer Institute at Medanta the Medicity. Um, greetings to all of you on this World Cancer Day 2021. 2020 uh, has been a year that put everybody under a huge challenge, including the medical services, and that also included the cancer patients during the COVID pandemic last year. There were challenges which were many fold for the cancer patients, including a delay in their diagnosis, inability to reach the cancer service providers, and also to take their treatment. And this led to a delay in their diagnosis with stage migration to a higher stage. So the cancer patients were recommended to have a teleconferencing, which the telemedicine has come of age, and India being the IT capital of the world, was able to provide seamless services. We were able to deliver remote consultations through telemedicine, using video as well as audio and offline consults, including the email services. And it was advised to the patients that if they need the treatment and when they come to the hospital, they should minimize the number of people who are traveling with them and bring only one attendant to the hospital to maintain the segregation, distance, and they were advised to hold their hand hygiene, sanitation, and also wear the masks. The doctors and the medical care providers at the hospital, including the paramedics, were trained adequately to deliver the services with almost no touch technique of wearing gloves and providing sanitation and also cleaning up of all the accessories while the patients were being taken for treatment. The cancer care in India has been improving over the last decade and we were hoping that in the coming years, we should be able to match the state of the art services across the country. However, the COVID pandemic led to a back step and there has been a delay in the diagnosis. Also, the screening programs that were being unfurled have had to take a, a back step because the patients were not willing to come in for the screening programs, especially for breast cancer services, for their pap smears, or for the vaccination for the human papilloma virus for cancer cervix because they said that we don't have symptoms. So why do we need to get screening for cancer when there's so much of fear of acquiring or getting corona infection? New normal, we will have to take care and take all precautions taken during uh, corona infection and continue to provide the best cancer care services, including the screening, the prevention, the state-of-the-art services for cancer, including surgery, radiation, medical oncology, and immunotherapy, especially with the vaccine having been made available to the healthcare services, the fear of healthcare service staff getting infected has started abating. And with, take, with the precautions, all services are now open. Even during COVID pandemic, the surgeries as well as radiation oncology cancer services were delivered throughout seamlessly for the patients who were coming to the hospital. And under the new normal, I think we'll have to uh, be aware that there's a heightened risk of acquiring infections, whether they be bacterial or viral, especially for cancer patients because of their immune suppression, but they can be taken care of. Looking at the availability and also the skills of the staff available in India today. World Cancer Day is one day when the doctors, experts, as well as the media is in heightened awareness that we need to speak about cancer. But I think it should become a norm for us to be able to discuss about how to prevent cancers, how to diagnose early cancers, how to do the right treatment for these cancers, or for the support services, including palliative care and the psychosocial care for the patients and their family, along with the caregivers at the hospitals. It is a huge challenge for the family and the caregivers of a patient, besides the psychological upheaval of a patient who is diagnosed with cancer. 
There are few services in the organized sector in our country to offer this care and there is a need to develop not only the medical skills and the technology in the country but also the support for the caregivers and the caregivers need to understand not only the treatment part of it but also the home support, the nutritional support, the emotional, spiritual needs of a patient who is undergoing the treatment at any cancer facility and also this can be extended to through other NGOs and the social groups. Talk about it, support them because this is a hard time not only for the patient but also for the family and the caregivers of a cancer patient.